Hello everyone. Welcome to Kentucky Route Zero. I don't know much about this game, but I do know that it's probably set in Kentucky, probably along Route Zero. I'm also I don't know how I found out about this game, other than the fact that I did. And it looks from what I've seen, it looks very similar to Oxenfree, which is my favorite game of all time. So I'm kinda excited. So, let's get started. Act 1, play. Limits and demonstrations. The entertainment here and there along the Echo Un Pueblo de Nada. I do not know what any of that means. Act 1, scene 1. I'm doing this like a play. Apparently, Ecus Oils. Bright lights. This is nice looking. Must say. Yeah, there's a dog. An old hound in a straw hat. Both have seen better days. We got the truck. A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painted on the side are the words Lisette's Antiques. Furniture, glassware, curiosities. Hello. Oh, it's point and click. Alright. Joseph sits between gas pumps in a Queen Anne armchair. His hair is gray and his glasses darkened. How you doing? Damn, did you hear that, Rick? Truck full of bottles. I don't know, beer bottles, whiskey, lost a tire or something, and spilled booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess. Hope they don't come down here looking for anything. We blew a damn fuse and it's all shut off. Did I hear a dog? What's your dog's name? Name is Homer. Send a ooh, Homer. Bit of a shuffle or dragging Homer's step. Kind of an old one, isn't he? Well, I guess he's got some stories then. Hey, here's some jerky for Homer. I made it myself. Didn't turn out too well, but I bet a dog will eat it. Getting late back. Feel the sun on my neck. <sighs> but it's just a few feet off the horizon. Okay. I've been driving all evening looking for dog five dogwood drive. A guy's living to make on dog, but I'd rather watch the sunset. That one. Yeah, it's the truth. Gotta stop and breathe in that road. I bet you're driving I bet while you're driving you let your eyes wander up to the tree line and you just Well, I bet you're more of a poet than old Joseph. Uh, we've been working here working for a number of years. It's pretty okay. You know, I have an advanced degree and a few publications. It's pretty okay here. Listen, you and Homer would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood drives on the other side of well. To get there, you've got to take the zero. Zero is a tough route to find. I can use my computer to look up directions. Had to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker first. I was happy to have those winding lights back up anyway. It's too damn quiet out here. Basement door is in the back of the office. Appreciate your help, friend. Oh, and here. Take this lamp. It gets dark. Neat. Well, I'll be danged. Basement people. Emily, Ben, and Bob sit in folding chairs behind a worn card, uh, worn card table. Papers... Oddly shaped dice and highway maps cover the tabletop. How you doing? Calmly clears his throat. Have you all seen the breaker box down here? Did you hear something? Uh, no, sorry, I was just looking at the rules again. Get your ears, you can go 
If you share the roll of five, right, it means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's just, you know, it's your turn now? So what kind of game are you playing? Yeah, I guess so. Where'd you put that 20 sided die? I don't see it. Did you drop it? Should be easy enough to find a close in the dark. Well. Ooh, sign. Hello. Oh. A dusty, rusty sign is bolted onto the wall. These these are the rules. No open flames near the gasoline. No consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. In case of sudden darkness, do not panic, relax, count backwards for five. Strictly limit the time spent in the basement to fewer than three minutes of every hour. Well. Oh, game piece. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about that. Conway picks up the glowing 20-sided die and specs it. The number five is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comforting weight. Genius. Mm -hmm. Place it on the table. Breaker. All right. Ooh. Okay, we're getting this show on the road. Oh, see that is much more comforting. Oh, look, look at the dude. You're safe. The lights wind. Yep. I better get those ones in ten to zero if you don't mind. So, here's in the office. You're looking for Marquez. She knows the way around these roads. She get to you there, zero. Uh, damn. I don't. You. You usually just feel out muscle memory, you know. <sighs> no short poems that really sums it all up. I figured out what does that mean? Here from its reverie. Is there? Well, I doubt probably Joseph. Wheel slide loose. Yes. How was it going there, figuring it all out? Sure you are. address book zero Marquez residence 100 Macondo Lane head northeast on 65 Turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that always that's always on fire. Look for the barn at the base of the mountain there, it can't miss it. Hmm. While you were down there I loaded that old TV of mine into your truck. I borrowed that thing from Weaver Marquez a number of years ago. Had that the power is all we is all weird over here. Can't pick up anything but static and public access anyway. She's always more for reader, but maybe she'd want it back at home. It's a nice TV. Okay, what's it? Sure. <laughs> Fragments dim of lovely forms. I know it's been a while, but I know I still saw her. There's a whole world in here. I need you to help unmask it. The caves are cold and damp, and we are old and lame. I can't remember why you even started writing this. I missed those old days in the lab. You and your, our dear Lula. 
Turn it on. This is a nod. Well, oh boy. Strange. I bet a dog will eat. Hey, I got an achievement. Old man. Uh, reminds me of very old man. Like, Mr. Guy. Good man, good boss. I think this is place. So, uh, I've never noticed it driving by. Seems to be really on the rocks. Right, do that. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm guessing that's what I have to do. It's time to go. It's time to go. Oh, okay then. A burning tree. Marquez Farmhouse. We did it. Act one, scene two. Marquez Farmhouse. Street lamp lights the base of a dusty path leading up the hill. Oh, it's a house. It's a graveyard. Family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate. Now, Kowski Padilla Marquez. What year is this? Sin. Oh, hello. I was just thinking what a lovely house to have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Do you ever see it now? It's a nice house. I like I like the large beams that run across the ceilings. You can see in the house think of the hills and bluffs around us uh, like a like a cradle. I see another house. I have destroyed and rebuilt this one. It's very expensive. Quite got caught in the water. Sorry times everywhere. Even out here on our little farm, my parents stopped paying the rent banker a while back. Shouldn't even be here, but I just stayed. I'm a little bored, I might prefer to watch T V occasionally. I can't explain how to get this here. I know. Set up. Alright. I don't know. It doesn't look like a very interesting house. I'll be honest. Some, those are some neat visuals. <sighs> Not how it's supposed to look. You made a mistake setting it up. It's a foreign object to you. Which of your parents was who wouldn't like watch television? I know how I set up a TV. Have it all backwards, I'm not surprised. Are you? Can you pay attention? I don't think you have. Stop paying enough now. Look closely at the television. I don't. Looks like it's working to me. Hey, hey, we have to space that for a minute there. We keep it on that bond. Some tools and feed and books. And I think it's mostly spiders. So the Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living while she used to. We must give her some shovel. Bob with the zero, I'd much rather you find my cousin to fix my TV. Get your head the right way. Back, uh, it's pretty easy. Back on 65, head north. Then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival at the zero is basically inevitable. To know you, come away. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. Those like horses. See, well now we know how to get to the zero. Could theoretically find that woman's was it, sister or whatever, cousin. Could do that, but I don't care. I'm heading to the zero. <laughs> nice. Is that weird? I'm gonna do that. I am very much ready to leave. Wait, what? Factory. 
A creek runs alongside the highway and then turns towards a dirty brick building. A grinding drone from within the building faint is faintly audible from the interstate. Floodlights on the low light smokestacks at the edge of the building. Parking lot, large sign. Probably skip a tree says a mayor. Artificial limb factory. So, is this? Oh, this on ramp. I think we found the zero. I think <laughs> we found the zero. I believe. Elkhorn Valley. All right. I am tired. If you, if you couldn't tell, I'm incredibly tired. Entrance. Okay then. Elkhorn Mine. Shannon speaks into a large brick cell phone held to here. It's two hundred dollars for two weeks. It's kind of it kind of, it kind of is an emergency. Um that hey it's our it's our guy. So as I drive deliveries to a shop called Lissette's Antiques, I'm actually trying to finish the job. I can deliver to the mine. Uh, no. Well, before I can't remember ever seeing that address before. Now I heard I need to take a highway called the Zero. Yeah, and Weaver Marquez and she sent me this way. And so here I am, uncommon kind of place for an on ramp. That's what it's been like uh, so far, anyway. With what? Yeah. There's not one time when you're younger. She told me. My dad had been in a terrible car wreck. They were crushing and we'd be hearing it echo throughout the house for years. She said, I was very upset, crying. My dad walked in the door just to come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion in the wind chimes. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke and it wasn't a lie. At the time, I thought she meant it as a real little puzzle. But we're not a puzzle, she's a mystery. Well, what are you doing down here? Talked to Beaver earlier this morning or this evening. Anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell her she's listening sometimes. Right, she said I'd find. Uh, what are you looking for? Not exactly sure. I have a few ideas. I'll know it when I see it. It's such a bad thing, you know. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. No place for a dog. It's an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. We're going to go down into it. To find your on ramp and whatever else. We got to keep our bearings. I do not want to get turned around. Got some here. Uh, I got some gear here to measure conductivity, frequency response, stuff like that. Maybe we can signal out ahead. Some analysis here. What kind of topology we're up against? Pod. Science of continuous space, my friend. The way this twisty maze of passages fits together. Neat. Alright. Topology sounds boring. I must say, I've never been a big science guy. PA. Public announcement speaker? That runs to the mine's PA system. It still works. Only one way to find out. Anybody down there? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, there's no power. Yeah, okay. Even when this old mine was up and running, it was cheap to keep stuff powered. You know, the miners used to have to pay just to run the fans and the lights. Yeah. Got paid in these shitty plastic tokens. Coal skip, you know? If you want to run the fans for a bit uh, to clean air up the air, clear the air, well, you have to put a token in. Parents used to work here, so did Weaver's parents. 
guess a lot of folks' parents worked here. So let's just head into the mine and see what we see. Things first. We don't know what it's like down there. Years of seasonal changes and seismic irregularities could have totally reconfigured it. I'm not going in blind, and neither are you. But we just have to free up some power. With the PA system, everything is rationed. Uh, here I said the lamp of yours, I'll unplug the ceiling lights. I said, Come to your head, tell me a story about something. What did you have for breakfast today? <laughs> My gosh, we're in Louisville. Louisville. We even fixed the truth. Let's uh, get there. It's too late anyhow. Got it. Sounds pretty cramped. Yeah, low ceilings. Oh, really stupid bit. Eh, you're probably used to it. My task is to know the air is breathable. It's too thin or too dense. It's been to your breath with the air in the tunnels. Here, Max, breathe natural. It's about Resting. When he was younger, strong wings here. I think we're in good shape. Keep at it for a minute. This is a hot meal. It relaxes. An appeal of feedback and loose rock engulfs him. Oh, well, that's fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. Okay.